Sally sold seashells by the seashore. But the seashells didn't sell so well. So Sally set up a seashell store on Squarespace. Zendaya is serving up some major mermaid vibes. The Spider-Man No Way Home star is featured in Squarespace's 2022 Super Bowl ad, where she plays Sally, who sells seashells by the seashore. The 25-year-old looked radiant in various BG clothes and nautical outfits. She was joined by Andre 3000, who served as the ad's narrator. Sally's seashells were so successful, she sailed into the setting sun as a seashell celebrity. Shucks. Her Super Bowl ad isn't the only thing that Zendaya has made headlines for recently. Her character Rue on the hit HBO series Euphoria has also been causing quite a buzz on the current season. Prior to season two airing, Zendaya, as well as her co-stars Hunter Schaefer and Dominic Fike, chatted with Access Hollywood about the show. Zendaya, you breed such beautiful life into Rue's character. We see you so glam on these red carpets, and yeah, this is so stripped down and raw and real and vulnerable. Uh, talk to me about that transformation. What is it like for you to, to just kind of let it all out in a completely different way than we might be used to seeing you outside of Rue's world? Um, you know, it's interesting because um, <laughs> I, I think euphoria is the least amount of transforming in real life. I have to mm. do wake up and I go to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not too much to the physical element. Um, mm. um, but yeah, you know, Rue is, uh, Rue is complex and she's, and she's layered and she's got a lot of, a lot of pain. And, um, I, I feel and have felt incredibly honored to portray her. And I, and I, also feel incredibly honored to every person who I feel is connected to her story for whatever reason, whether it be their sobriety journey or, you know, their um, mental health, whatever it is that they feel that they have connected to her. And I, and I feel an incredible sense of responsibility to those people as well, you know, um, yeah. because I care about Rue. I care about her as if she was a, a, you know, a part of myself, a little sister. I don't know what the relationship is, but I feel um, incredibly close to her. Mm. Um, Mm -hmm. And when it comes to, you know, the things she does or the decisions she makes, I think it's always important or our main theme for me this season has always been not only just empathy, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, a sense of hope, because I think it goes to places that we've, and we've had to push ourselves to places I know for myself, uh, the season that I, I really didn't enjoy going to. Um, and I really didn't enjoy putting Rue through. Um, and I definitely think the rock bottom is hit. but. Mm -hmm. But I, but I know that there's hope because that only is halfway through the season. And I really, yeah. we all wanted there to be um, something beautiful at the end for her. And I think that that's up for her to decide and to mm -hmm. find out that she's worthy of. Um, yeah. So you got to stick with her. Yeah. <laughs> and I think if we can, as human beings, you know, find empathy for a character, you know, uh, know that a character that we've fallen in love with over, you know, a television screen and still love and care about them, even when they make decisions that are painful, um, then maybe we can extend that same graciousness to people in real life, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So true. And so well said.